Hey guys, Hugo Oliveira here and welcome to Nukes Tips and Tricks Volume 3. So in this training, we're going to see how we can reproduce Photoshop's vanishing point inside of Nukes Rotopaint node so that we can clone in perspective. Then we'll be revisiting our pan and tile setup that we did in a previous class and see how we can push it to the next level by adding some parallax and also some ground element in our scene. And we'll see how we can cast 3D shadows from alpha channel using two different approach, one using the default light of new and one using projection setup. Then we'll do a shot from scratch where we have a character walking and jumping in a frozen instance of himself. We'll also see how we can use the spot meter of Nuke in the viewer to evaluate the density of the light in our shot. We'll also see how we can correctly clone a moving plate without affecting the quality of the image. And then we'll also see the bookmark of Nuke that will help us to navigate in our script more efficiently. So I really hope to see you in this training.